Hello everyone, and we're here with the Octavia's Cello Final Scratch Demo. I can't believe this flew under our radar, but I don't even think it was posted on EQD, which is a shame because I've been really hyped about this game for quite a while. <laughs> Um, but I'm excited for this, even though I think it might be a quicker demo, we're trying, I mean, you just start right off as Vinyl Scratch here in the dungeons where you fell down. So a couple of things I've noticed, um, and I don't know if this is going to be changed, but the hoof icon is still Vinyl Scratch, I, I mean Octavia's. It's <laughs> fairly different. As you can see, it's grey. Yeah. Huh? I don't know, the color's not that different. Yeah. I know. Also, I'm not sure. I almost, I almost wish I remembered, but I feel like the uh, panic meter is backwards. Or maybe it's just backwards from what I would expect it to be. Wait, why? Because red's at the Plus top. Plus you start in green and it goes uh, well, up as you get more panicky. Oh, it does. Okay, that was the way it never You can mind. see your background is All right, green. we'll see if the panic meter Because why? And it gives no fuck. Yes, yes, you're right. Yeah. Ow. 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 Ah, oh, forget it. Fixing these glasses is a lost cause. Gee, I was going to okay. take from I mean, yeah, guys, yeah, just off there. <laughs> I know. I guess, I guess uh, Vinyl Scratch isn't immune to the spookiness, considering she has no chill. Anyways, want to be this fine uh, mayor here? Sure. Yo, what's eating ya? If, been, if you've been paying attention to what's going on, you'd know what's going to eat all of us. Which brings up a rather important question. Helen dies... What? I can't... What? Ah, you poor thing. Your culinary palate is probably as empty as my stomach. <sighs> wow. As a gourmet. It is my duty, nay, my sole purpose in life, to expand the I can't read that fast, and who am I to deny even the undead is simple yeah, of what know. the wood flavors have to offer. What are you... Are you deciding what mar... what to... something yourself? God, I can't Correct. read either. If I'm going to die, I die both bastard in and... I can't, Jesus, I give up. <laughs> You're completely psycho? What the hell are you planning to become some pony's entree? We're going to die. We're going to die horrifically and brutally by those monsters. I'm only preparing for the inevitable. I see no way out, do you? We are all going to die. Alone, afraid, and filled with regret. Come on, we can fix regret and afraid, why not? You, uh, you want to talk it out? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Uh, anyway, sorry for the derpy reading, everyone. Unfortunately, the uh, dialogue passes by automatically. But, I mean, the short and long of that statement was just that she's planning uh, what to base herself in for the monsters to eat her, which is just strange in all kinds of kinky. If I totally approve her, at least she's very respectful. <laughs> True enough. Uh, also, her outfit is, uh, interesting. I'm actually not sure what's up with her hat. Not entirely. Is that sure a hat? Either. I know. Yeah. Who are you? I'm a pretty big deal in Ponyville when it comes to blasting music and bend the fabric of reality, but if you haven't heard of me, my name's Vinyl Scratch. What's yours? Ha! Huh, I too wish stroke my ego. I'm Hot Cousine. If there is a popular dish you are fond of, chances are that I started its trend. I publish tasteful articles in the Philadelphia Acquirer of restaurants I've visited, its food and its decor. What does scenery have to do with Pleasant it? Pleasant views aid digestion. Besides, I like to feast my eyes on the splendor of the interior design of many different eateries across Equestria. Could have fooled me. You don't look like the type to travel. Was that a crack at my weight? I'm not fat. I'm just very fat. Anyway, yes, I love to travel. New locations provide new food with new experiences. In fact, the reason I was in Ponyville was because I wanted to visit a famed chef who moved to Ponyville nearly a decade ago. Applejack? 
I never got yeah. the chance to see his culinary skills first hope. And I possibly never will since he was declared missing when I asked for his whereabouts. Oh, he's oh, dead. Well. As hard as I try, I can't taste it all. Besides, we have bigger things to worry about. Weird. I lived in Ponyville practically all my life, and I didn't know of any other chefs besides Mr. and Mrs. Cake. I mean, I struggle to remember every face in town that isn't a regular at the dance club, but a fancy smancy chef living in Ponyville would have kind of stuck out. Maybe Tavi knows. I'll ask her later. So she's, so it's, Fair I enough, see, though I, I do it was a beast. Hmm? Hammer thingy. So it is, that's probably what you need for the beast. Oh! Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is... Uh, we'll definitely ask her about that next, because I'm curious. Though, I have to say, with Vital Scratch's uh, fat joke, I'll admit this pony doesn't look particularly fat at all, really. I guess Vine is just picky? I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe so. <laughs> She's probably like, if you don't club and you're not, or or you're not Octavia, you're just not suited to my tastes. We can't be lesbians. <laughs> so why are you wearing a bee suit? Behind that almost useless bee suit. Ah, so you noticed? I like to cook low-calorie desserts on my spare time, and honey makes for an excellent pure sugar substitute. But the price of honey in Pony can be quite high, since I don't know how to buy that well with the aggressive sellers in the market. Ooh. I'm used to the set prices in grocery stores, you see. Anyway, imagine my surprise when two fellows came up to me and offered to sell me their spare be beekeeping suit. <laughs> what the fuck? What were their names? Slim Jim and Flan? Flam? No. <laughs> Oh, hey, no. Don't tell me you actually bought something from those crooks. And a discounted price and a desperate taste for honey. I can't read that fast. Even then, I should have suspected something was strange when they said it was half off. Then I realized I was scammed. They, they got on their cart and dashed off, shouting that all the sales were final. And that leads me to why I'm here in the first place. I made my purchase, so I decided to take a gamble and head off to the woods to find a hive. She's really unlucky. I found it, but I it suppose? was in this house's backyard. I knocked on a door and the door opened for me. However, there was no pony inside to greet me. I made my way to the back and got a good look at the horrific sight. The hive was formed in a pony skull. I was so wow. afraid that I made a mad dash to the door only to find it was locked. I was past and hunger started to kick in. I checked the fridge, but the look and smell told me that they were starting to turn. I didn't want to risk getting sick, so... I took my chances with the skull hive. I gathered the rocks in the yard and made a small fire pit underneath it. I must have gone too close because it felt threatened enough to sick its bees on me. You can see the damage I receive in exchange for a jar of honey. Thank goodness I am not allergic. TV isn't so lucky. Hope she doesn't do anything I'd probably do. Anyway, I fell in the same trap you fell in when I was escaping the beast. I've been trapped here ever since. It's probably been almost a day since I arrived. Damn. Well, that does explain the band-aids on her butt. Though I have to say... That... That actually... <laughs> I mean, on one half, she's unlucky for finding a beehive in such a place, but on the other hoof, like, how did she not notice that half of the outfit was missing? <laughs> You'd think it would be really noticeable if you bought a, a thing and it was like, oh yeah, it doesn't cover my butt. It de de needs to cover literally all of me. <laughs> she's fucking crazy, though. It's like, oh, well, I bought it, might yeah. as well go into the Everfree Forest, let's try to find bees. Oh, well, I found bees, but it's in the backyard of some random pony, let's just go in. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair, she is pretty crazy. If I remember else in this game correctly, this is probably the weirdest character of this game. Yeah, yeah, actually, most of the characters, the I mean, we haven't heard everyone's reason, but... 
Yeah, man, I, I still like that guy, despite the fact that he can kill you. It was cool. Let's see, so do you still have the honey? Sure do, couldn't eat the entire jar, so I just have half a jar left. Neat, shares these? Sorry friend, but I worked hard for this bounty and I, it might be the last meal I ever have. What about the spread on the table? Chips and cupcakes, no thanks. I've been avoiding that junk food. More for me. I live and breathe that stuff, but my friend is up there, and she needs all the help she can get to survive. Can't you spare a bit for her? Well, I do want her to get us out, but... Can she cook? Ah, uh, well, she can always can learn. Can make another gamble? If she can provide me with a delicious meal, should she be up to the challenge, I would gladly give her the rest of my honey. <laughs> fucking bitch. However, my taste buds are not to be trifled with. If I don't approve of it, I eat my honey to wash the bad taste of- <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> pleasure deal. walking with you, Miss Scratch. <laughs> you are straight out of some... <laughs> Void video game logic. Adventure game logic. I know, it's like, hey, I know I could give you the honey and it might save my life, but fuck you, cook me a meal, and if I don't find it appeasing, I'll eat my honey just See, to spite you. I'm imagining that if you give her a bad meal, she's gonna sit there quiet while eating the honey. She's like, I'm gonna <laughs> die doing this, but I have to. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. And, and that's how... I wonder if that's actually going to be a possible game over. <laughs> game over a shit meal. Now you don't have yeah, any honey. GG. Game over, so maybe. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Honestly, that's like asking me what my favorite child is. It's <laughs> so funny. Do I have something in my teeth again? An image just popped in my head that's really not the best comparison to make when talking about eating things, right? I guess you got a point, but I wonder if I ever see foils as food if I ever become a zombie. But you're evil. <laughs> it's rather interesting when you think about yep. those monsters, actually. Or is it not always to eat? They don't care who or what, they just continue to devour anything inside. The reason that rational ponies like us don't fall to that level is self-control. But even when I was traveling, I've seen ponies that so completely overboard on what they eat. Or is this turning into PSA? They get fed to the point where it causes a reversible damage to the bodies, and even then they continue the dietary habits. That kind of rationality is only a stone throw away from how a zombie behaves. I'm sorry, I completely derailed that conversation. Do you still want to know what my favorite food is? Zombies. No. no. I'm good. My brain might get fat from all that food for thoughts. Yes, you're right, Miss Wedge. <laughs> what was this sudden PSA nonsense that she just brought up? <laughs> Man, fat people are basically zombies. Zombies. <laughs> I guess, I guess the quest is very picky. <laughs> what would she do with I guess pinky? so. I, I don't know. She would probably just yell. Like, she'd probably be like, zombie, and, and run away. <laughs> Are you ready to eat? Ever and always. The question is, is she ready to cook? Give I'll go ask. check. Yo, Tavi! Are you there? Tavi? I'm here, Vinyl. I just came out of the study. What do you need? Wanna cook- do some cooking, good looking? I sincerely hope you said a flattering idiom and you're not actually asking me how to cook something here and now. That's the name of the game. A pony down here wants something good to eat. And you're kind of the only pony in the kitchen right now. Vinyl, you and I both know that when we are cooking something, it's a Celestian given miracle that nothing is on fire. 
Thanks for the usual vote of confidence with a hint of sarcasm, but cooking isn't something I can learn in a small amount of time. Sorry, Vinyl. I almost burnt this house down once. I don't want to risk it again. Okay, bummer. That's okay, I guess. I'll ask you again some other time. What? Vinyl? I just gave a definitive answer. It's not gonna change over time. Say that now, but give it a couple of minutes. <laughs> Vinyl, as much as I love to argue about the definitive uh, definition of insanity with you, I think I heard something. I have to go. <laughs> Dead. Uh, they're, they're, the dialogue between both of them is the best. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'll ask again in a few minutes. It's probably how they do food What's in cooking good looking? What? Oh, Timmy, you wanna cook me food? Yeah. No. Timmy, you wanna cook me food? No. <laughs> probably so. I'd be surprised if Octavia sets the house on fire just to, just to spite, um, Vinyl Scratch. She's like, <laughs> you wanna, you wanna eat? So let's see how you eat with the entire house burned down. Also, we have a bat pony. Those are exciting. I like bat ponies. Looks like some vengeful girl. Ready for? Yeah. Um, she's kind of adorable. Ready to do some sure. more reading? This has a lot of it. Yeah. What's up? I want to give yeah, this other version too. Someone's... Huh? Either she's in the mood to talk, or she's straight up ignoring me. Maybe there's a way I can get her attention with something she likes. Huh? Hey, you want to talk about... <laughs> I have to actually uh, uh, put it in. Yeah, I'll probably put bats. But yeah, I guess that's... Uh, it, it looks like that's the way this is going to be. Uh, Octavia's side is going to be the puzzle-solving so side. The normal game side. And I guess um, Vinyl Scratch is going to be where you get hints and communicate with the other survivors of the house. So that's kind of interesting. And you'll- and I mean, it already looks like you have to switch between the two, given different situations. I don't know, I kinda like it, what do you I'll think? I'll have to see more on exactly where this goes. And because I mean, it's obviously you need the honey, yes. but I don't remember why you need the honey. Uh, we need uh, the honey to make a potion. Might think I'm annoying, but that's just another word for persistent. <laughs> True story. Uh, I'm probably going to have to actually find something she likes, though. So I will. Oh, without without the capitalization without or anything. Yeah. Bat. No. Okay, wait. Right. Let's get it. No. Yeah, we probably need to find something a little more exact. There's the. There's that. Oh. I slid down a very long way, and the walls are too slippery for me to climb back up. So escaping through here is not a choice. There's the door. Touch, <laughs> touch, touch, and more touch. Yeah, just touch that torch. Actually, I can also look at things. Something interesting around the door itself. Uh, dang, it won't budge an inch. Guess I gotta come down, uh, come up with a plan, or wait until Octavia comes to bust me out. Whichever I comes first. I do kind of, I find a very likable in the sense that she is just has non-dying faith in Octavia to just solve this anyway. <laughs> yeah, she's like, well, you know, I could find my way out, but Octavia more is probably gonna do but it. I what, she, what a reaction she's would kind have of been if like, the first death in that game is falling down the hole, pretty much. Like... She has such confidence yeah. in Octavia. How terrible would that be if Octavia just fell down the hole into the head? <laughs> that would that would be really depressing. <laughs> She's staring off into space, thinking of something. Actually, let's let's take a look. See if we can get a better look at the book. Her face is planted book. so close to the book she's that she is practically eating paper. I should snap her back to the real books. world. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll try that. Alright. Book. I'll try- I'll try books and then once again I'll back- like... There's some- it feels like... 
It should be obvious what she likes, but maybe this is a little more of a puzzle than we're getting it credit for. Her glasses. Not, not her glasses, I meant the glass on the floor. Your glasses. Oh yeah, you're right. My glasses. Some pony owes me a new pair of shades. It's true. You could talk to her. Alright, is just, what's up with this? Oh, whoops. Hmm? You could also try to talk to her if you get the priest. By talking to who? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's true. Though we did have uh, one destination we actually haven't tried. I just... That bad pony had me really curious. Whoa, these cupcakes look like they have enough sugar to keep me hyper for days. I'm sure nobody would mind if I have a uh, two or three. Oh. No, don't eat the cupcakes. Personal space! Personal space! Just warning you, that stuff is toxic! She put something in the food to make your body and brain sluggish. Wow. That guy looks like he's shrunk up a bit. That way, it's a lot easier for her zombie minions to catch and devour you. Some pony else ate it before he was taken away and he didn't come back alive. Did he come back dead? Oh, I get it now. You're starving yourself because you don't want to end up like that guy. No, it's because I'm a diabetic and the food will kill me a lot faster than zombies ever will. <laughs> wow. But that's besides the point. I'm sorry that I've been ignoring you. Trying to think of ways that I can help your friend up above. Oh. Ask me anything. I, I kind of like this guy. I feel bad for yeah, him. That's what we say for I'm diabetic. He must have been here before the guy who ate the cupcakes. So he would have been the first one. That is that him. is true. Yeah. Um, I but once again, like that lady with the honey is an asshole. I mean, I don't know if the honey would work any better for him because it's overly sweet. But she's like, get me a meal. I don't care about the starving guy. Yeah, she's an asshole. What do you want? <laughs> yep. What's your story? Start with the obvious questions. Who are you and what's your deal? I'm Puzzle Piece. I'm known in Baltimore as the stallion that can solve any puzzle. Sounds cool. Currently have the world record for solving a 5x5 five five Rubik's Cube in 5.62 seconds. Um, okay. What's the point of telling me that? Because it's what brought me the Royal Guard to my door one fateful day. But many disappearances happening throughout Equestria. Hundreds of ponies vanished without a trace, and the Royal Guards were stumped on where they might be. That's why they decided to enlist some help from me to figure it all out. I thought that it would be fun to do something that's unrelated to the usual jigsaw or Sudoku puzzles, so I agreed. I traveled from all around to find clues about these disappearances, but a family in Ponyville had a member missing, and their daughter left behind a note that was sent to her. Following the note's address, I found my way here. And, did you find the missing ponies? What do you think? Of course I did! Have you even gotten a glimpse of what's around us? There... They are down here with us, dead but alive. They scraped the walls and craved flesh and blood. I had no idea that this would be the fate of all those missing ponies. Now every day has become a fight for survival for me. It's either live long enough to alert some pony outside this house, or die and become one of them. But I don't think I'm gonna last any longer. And as long as we are all in her house... We won't survive to tell the tale. Wow. Major bummer. <laughs> I mean, say though, like, <laughs> I mean, I really like this game, and it's obviously to the benefit of the game, but this game is really mood swingy. It's like, oh, Pony who talks about how <laughs> fatness turns you into zombies. Pony who talks about all these poor people disappearing and being turning into zombies. It's like, is this game funny yeah. or sad or creepy? It's, it's everything. Uh... uh 
Yeah, I mean, I like it, especially, uh, Vinyl Scratch. I mean, the other pony is still a bitch, but I, I like Vinyl Scratch because of her just weird optimism. Like, <laughs> we're basically all gonna die. Wow. Yeah, I mean, she's pretty much like, this is like a horror story, but if the character just didn't care. Or, like, wasn't afraid of the horror. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think that's why I like having Vinyl Scratch here, because Octavia is the, like, she's really serious, and she fits in n normally with this kind of game, but, you know, Octavia, the vinyl, vinyl Scratch is- She like, just afraid to it. Yeah, about the house. So, how did this house get to be so spooky in the first place? I don't know how for sure, but I did figure out that the necromancer did get into some magic that was not meant for mortal hooves. Unlike the rest of the ponies here, I didn't initially fall in the trap. I explored the house in depth and found that she was practicing zebra magic. Oh no! Zebra magic? Like Zakora's potions? Who? Zakora's a zebra, a witch doctor that lives in the Everfree Forest. You mean to tell me that there's a zebra living here? Then that's where she got all those scrolls from! Oh no, Zakora's evil! Can Zakora be so careless to have such dangerous spells lying around somewhere? Doesn't she know the horrors are unleashed by her negligence? Step off, buddy. She's not stupid. That mare probably broke into her hut and, I don't know, bust up locked chests or something to get them. Hmm. Well, regardless, your friend should take full advantage of the cauldron in a room that was tailor-made for potion making. I used zombie blood to write the code words in several places to help guide those that came after me. I also suggest she takes the time to find the scrolls I hid away from the necromancer in many parts of the house to make potions. So, why don't you use the cauldron yourself to create a super potion to take down the big bad zombie maker? I wasn't- it wasn't risky enough to try my hooves at potion making. It had bad juju written all over it, but maybe she can do it if she's smart enough. So, eh? This is now we know who came yeah, I was actually gonna say though, I mean, he probably would have had more luck if he tried potion making, but also apparently this dude was a badass, because he stated that he made the recipes in zombie blood, which implies that he has killed some of the zombies. Probably, that or he just asked him. <laughs> Yo zombie, uh, I don't want to get bit, but can you give me a pint of your blood? I need so some ink. He was a badass by that point in the game. Um, I'm not really sure. This takes place at the same the time. implication Um I I assume I wonder if she I, I am kinda curious house, if you'll so be must have happened after After yeah, after the, the um yeah. Timber Wolf. You're right. That's interesting. I want to talk about the prisoners here. Which one? <laughs> Shabby Just that was Shabby Pony. <laughs> yep. She's already breaking down mentally. If the necromancer didn't make me her favorite victim to play around with, she wouldn't have lasted long. Plus, she smells vaguely like mustard and tomato paste whenever you go near her. Ah, okay. <laughs> Fair. Her book is incredibly interesting and might have all the answers we need to get out of here. Um, too bad she's not willing to share her notes because she's too busy being in her own little world, making hypotheses and footnotes. Brilliant, but socially awkward. But, I mean, I, the, I know the how to get like her out of the bitch. Orgy. It solves any problems. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she won't be able to resist. Okay, muscle pony. We haven't met him yet. That meathead is perhaps the rudest pony I've ever met. How could he behave this way at a time like this? We need to work together to get out of here. 
Elsa makes remarks to himself, saying how hungry he is. We all are, buddy. Have you seen me recently? Also, seeing his body parts change from time to time, be careful around him. Something is definitely off with that guy. Okay, sounds like we have a uh, changeling stuck here. That's my assumption. I'm already calling it muscle pony is a so changeling. Just every type of pony. We have an earth pony, a unicorn, <laughs> a bad pony, a changeling, and a food pony. I guess so. <laughs> food ponies are pretty well. Okay, yeah, even super helpful. Maybe I should just go talk to them instead. You were the one that wanted my opinion. <laughs> True. Um, what was I gonna- But yeah, exactly. Food pony, the- the- it, it- well, I was gonna make a joke, but to be fair, there are food pony OCs, but they're normally not food-obsessed ponies, rather actually made of yeah. food. Then again, for all we know, a crazy lady She's maybe made is made of food. Yeah. So, what do you think about Octavia? She's cool, right? So, um, when do you think that my pal Octavia will be alright up there? From what she's been telling me so far, the odds seem against her. Not to mention that I feel like a complete deadweight for not being up there with her. She must feel completely alone up there. It's actually pretty sweet. As long as she finds the hints I strewn about the place, she can probably survive. Besides that, she may not truly be alone. You may not believe me, but I, and I tell you this, but when I was up there, I had a voice guiding me around the house. He sounded like an older stallion, and he had this habit of narrating things like I was in a storybook. But he knew how to make me laugh and kept my thoughts straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, Tabby did tell me that she was hearing voices in her head. I thought she was just joking around or going insane or something. So he really did find some pony else to help us. That's very comforting to know. She's in good company then. When I fell in here, he told me that he would find some pony else as brave and as smart as I am to help us all. But that's besides the point. She's still in grave danger while she's up there. Not only does she have to worry about the local deadly flora and fauna making their new home in this crumbling old house. She still has the zombie kid to deal with! And even then, she needs to go through the labyrinth to get to where we are! A labyrinth? Like, one of those minotaur mazes? Yes, but instead of beefy minotaurs, it's crammed with zombies at every dead end. And the necromancer changes the layout pretty frequently to keep the entertainment value high as ponies like us scramble to get out. <laughs> So, in order to help Octavia make it out alive, we need to find the current floor plans of the maze in the torture room. That's where she likes to keep them. I've snuck out before using some duct tape that I found in this house, but you'll need to distract the necromancer long enough to apply it to the door. Duct tape. Afterwards, it's up to you to find the plans and bring them here for me to review. I do it myself, but I need to conserve what little energy I have. Are you up for this? Playing espionage in a zombie-infested Celestia Forsaken dungeon to steal the plot of a nefarious sorceress? That sounds mind-blowingly awesome! I'm in! I'll make sure she pays for all the horse apples that she's putting me and poor Octavia through. Good. Let me know when you're ready to get started. Tell me who's the narrator. <laughs> I don't know who the narrator is. We still haven't met him, I guess. But I do. I actually do remember the narrator. I don't remember. Though, it's funny because it, it probably we don't remember him because he makes the narrator sound really, really useful. And let me tell you, I don't remember him being useful because for I shit. Because I remember that there are the ghosts <laughs> that you can start, like, that kind of start yes. existing when you go insane. But, I mean, those are not that useful. Those just fucking kill you. Yeah. No, no, There, there's a legitimate okay. narrator that I guess isn't actually just a narrator. Anyways, before we head out, let's go talk to the other pony. Though this actually, with all the dialogue, is lasting, already lasting longer than I thought. Perhaps we ought to move this to a part two before we talk to Changeling sure. Pony. 
Alright, don't worry, we'll get out of here alive, I know it. I'm barely holding on, I hope it's soon. Bye. Poor guy. Alright, thank you all for watching, and we'll watch this pony starve next time. Thank you.